As you'll recall from our studies of uh, our previous studies of frequency selective circuits, the transfer function and the frequency response function mathematically describe the frequency dependency of the circuit. In this book, we're going to use as the transfer function in the terminology T of S, and as in the past, it will be defined as the Laplace transform of the output over the Laplace transform of the input. Now, these simple single time constant circuits, we can determine that transfer function using voltage divider um, and define, divi <laughs> defining the output voltage as the voltage across the capacitor. So we'll recall then that the impedance in the Laplace domain, the impedance of the capacitor is 1 over SC, and we can then go ahead and write using voltage divider that V out of S is equal to V in of S times the impedance of the capacitor, which is 1 over SC, divided by R plus 1 over SC. So we then form the transfer function T of S by dividing both sides of the equation by V in, and we have V out over V in, dropping the S dependency, is equal to, um, let's clean this up just a little bit, and multiply numerator and denominator by the product of S times C. And in doing so, we then get the transfer function is equal to 1 over 1 plus S times RC. Now you'll recall from, again, from our previous studies of frequency dependent circuits that the cutoff frequency of this low pass filter was 1 over RC. And we're going to use in this class the, um, we're going to call the cutoff frequency omega naught and that then is equal to 1 over RC. And when we do that then, this transfer function becomes 1 over 1 plus S over omega naught, the cutoff frequency. Now you'll recall that a, another common way of writing this is um, found by multiplying numerator and denominator by the cutoff frequency, and we get omega over S plus omega naught, so omega naught over S plus omega naught. Again, a standard, one of the other standard forms of writing it is to put the highest power of S in the denominator with a coefficient of 1. So these two forms are equivalent expressions for the transfer function T of S. Now, the frequency response is just T of S evaluated at S equals J omega. And when we do that then, we get um, 1 over, let's see, replacing um, S with J omega, we get 1 over 1 plus J times omega over omega naught. And because we're going to be dealing with amplifier circuits, we're going to allow for a something other than unity gain. And so we're going to write it then as k, some constant k, over 1 plus j times omega over omega naught. And as you'll recall, because this is a transfer, because this transfer function is a function of a complex variable, we can then write it in terms of its polar, or we can write it in polar form, which consists of a magnitude of T of J omega, and of course this then is T of J omega. So there's the magnitude of T of J omega, which is equal to the magnitude of the denominator, which is just K, divided by the magnitude of the denominator, which is 1 squared plus omega over omega naught quantity squared. So again, the magnitude of the transfer function is found by taking the magnitude of the numerator, which was just k, and dividing it by the magnitude of the denominator, which is this square root of 1 squared plus omega over omega naught squared. And then, of course, there's the phase of the transfer of the frequency response function. We're going to call that theta of j omega, which in this case, well, which is equal to the phase of the numerator minus the phase of the denominator, which in this case is the phase of the numerator is just 0, 0 minus the phase of the denominator, which is the arc tangent of 
the imaginary part omega over omega naught divided by 1. Similar analysis of a high-pass filter, where we take the output to be the voltage across the resistor, yields us then a transfer function T of S, which is equal to S over S plus 1 over RC. And again, we define omega naught as the cutoff frequency, which is equal to 1 over R times C, and we then can get the uh, transfer function here is equal to S over S plus omega naught, or again, the other form would be by factoring out omega naught from both numerator and denominator, which would then give us um, 1 over omega naught times S in the numerator divided by 1 plus S over omega naught. Um, the frequency response function then T of J omega which is simply equal to T of S evaluated at S equals J omega, then gives us in the numerator J times omega over omega naught. And in the denominator, we have 1 plus J times omega over omega naught. And I'm running out of room here, but the magnitude of the frequency response T of J omega then, again, allowing for... Um, a gain term other than 1, we then have um, the magnitude of the numerating. We're just going to write it. We have this constant omega over omega naught, which we're going to wrap up in a constant term k over the square root of 1 plus omega over omega naught squared. And the phase term here will be the phase of the numerator, which is here, the phase of the numerator is 90 degrees, minus the phase of the denominator, which is just the arctangent of um, omega over omega naught. So we have then the single time constant low pass circuit and the high pass circuit with its corresponding transfer function and the frequency response function, which we're writing in terms of the magnitude and its phase for the low pass, and then also the magnitude and the phase for the high pass circuit.